Hi, I'm glad you're joining on this one. So you can know how to punish your partner for misbehaving. But it's not exactly what it sounds like. It's not exactly what I said in the title. It is to... Okay, let's just get into it. Let me tell you something. People actually like it when you hold them accountable. Have you noticed that those people that you're always trying to fight off, those people that you want them to leave you alone, when those people do something you don't like, you don't hesitate in pointing it out to them. And what do they do? It's funny, really, how human relationships work. Those people are quick to make changes because they don't want to displease you. But what happens when it comes to someone you like? What do you do? You know what you do, right? You are not quick to tell them that you don't like what they're doing. You look for ways to sidestep because you don't want to make them uncomfortable. And that is the reason why you end up being taken for granted because you stop doing the right thing when it comes to that person. You behave in a way that screams, disrespect me, please, disrespect me. But no, you shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. Don't forget the fundamental principle of life. The fundamental principle of humanliness, the fundamental principle of godliness, the fundamental principle of human nature, of nature, which is the fundamental principle of the universe, the fundamental principle of relating with another human being, which is love your neighbor as yourself. And loving your neighbor as yourself also means that your neighbor is obliged to love you as themselves. They're also bound by that same principle. And so th this is what you're supposed to always do. Love your neighbor as yourself. Honest to goodness, this is not about fighting. Remember that we're using the word love. So in everything that you're doing, you're doing it with a loving attitude. So you might even be smiling, you might even be laughing, but you're going to have to stand on it. You will insist on it. You have to insist on it. Just do it with smiling, with laughter, whatever you have to do to keep things positive. But you are not going to stand for being disrespected. The difficulty comes when you think of it as a confrontation and when you're approaching it like fighting, that is so unnecessary. You, switch your perception. That's all you need to do. Switch your perception, please. And you will soon see how easy it is to change your life and to change your experiences. And then there is an even bigger question. Is your acceptance of what is going on going to align with the will and purpose of God for your life? Okay, with the will and purpose of your creator for your life, with the will and purpose of your life. In your heart, is this who you think that you are? Because remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Whatever you think of yourself is what you're going to allow to play out in your life. And if this person is still going to find justification to be upset, even though they are the one who is causing the upset in this friendship or relationship or whatever it is, then this person just isn't ready to have a close relationship. This person is better off on their own, maybe on an island, but you certainly don't want to be in this space. So don't you go insisting on being punished, okay? Why would you want to do that? Because someone who is going to be angry, even at you being lighthearted, even when you're not taking things to a fighting mood, even when you're smiling and laughing, then you should not be there. This is why you spend time in dark and gloom. You shouldn't be in that kind of space. If a person just cannot take things lightly, then, I mean, what is the point of a relationship if you guys are not enjoying what you're doing? Get out of it. It means you're in the wrong place. There is no reason to stay in the wrong place. Don't insist on staying in the wrong place because that is what you'll be doing when you do that. Don't stay in the wrong place because they are too good looking. They have access to contacts that you want. They have so much money that you want to get your hands on. They have influence that you want to use in your life. They have whatever it is that they have. Whatever it is that or they've done this and that for you in the past, and so you see them in this way. It is you beginning to now change the purpose of your life and change the will of God in your life and what your life is supposed to be about. This is how it happens. This is not you. This is not where you're supposed to be. Don't get distracted by whatever else it is that's happening. 
remember as you think of yourself in your heart that is who you are so whatever you are allowing to happen in your space this means that you believe in your heart that this is meant for you this is good for you this is okay this is acceptable by you let's put it that way you've opened the door and said okay this is acceptable by me i tell you always you determine your reality and it comes from your mind it comes from your soul begin to understand this now so you see how you shape and influence your reality by what is going on in your mind and in your spirit because as soon as you say to yourself this doesn't align with me that is you now knowing yourself and knowing what doesn't align with you and knowing that i've got to remove this because this does not belong in my life if you don't do that, you're inviting doom and gloom in your life. So listen, you can do without that friendship. You can do without that relationship. You can do without that brother and sister or sister. You can or deal with them from far away at arm's length. Guys, life is so easy. I wish people knew this. People don't need to go through all the difficulties that we go through every day. People didn't need to go through all the difficulties that they've been through. And are still going to go through. Everything is about perception. Everything is about the way that your mind is saying it. So if you could just tilt your perception just a little bit, you will have happier days and happier interactions and happier relationships. I promise. I promise. I promise. You should treat these people that you love or that you like in the same way that you treat those people that you want to leave you alone no one gets to misbehave and then you sit there and you're massaging their backs no people actually like it when you call them out on their bs they do they do again if you happen to be dealing with someone who's going to be finding fault no matter that you're approaching their own mess up with light-heartedness turn your back on them ignore them ignore them do not give them any room to make you start stressing over their BS. You have to develop that for yourself. And I'm saying this only for if you're actually stuck with them somehow. But if you're not stuck with them, ignoring them isn't going to be enough. Get away from them. Quick! Because you shouldn't do that. I promise you. This is going to be the dynamics of your relationship if you do. If you don't get away from this, and, st and you stay in it, this is going to be what it is. You'll be living with this for the rest of your life or for the rest of whatever that relationship, however long it lasts. I promise you, except an extreme intervention, who wants to take that kind of chance? This is why you have seen those people who have lived with this. For you. Look, look, the dynamics are created and then they continue to go forward like that. So you have to insist on standing on business a positive way. And that is the right way to go about human relationships. And you will see them begin to look at you in a different light. You have to do it from the beginning, from the beginning, from the beginning. And when you're doing that, just remember, be nice always. Don't be nasty. Don't fight. I always tell you, don't fight. Don't fight. We're talking about someone that you care about, right? So remember you care about it. This is not about winning or about showing that you can be angry. No, that's not what it is. What you want to do is just convey what is going on here so that you bring their attention to what they're doing to you and how you're feeling about it, right? You don't let them escape. You call them out on it. If you like, you can smile. If it's something you can smile over when you're saying it, but you know you're not accepting this. And once they see that you mean business, once they see from the beginning, they adjust. They adjust. They're going to have to, they're going to adjust. They're going to adjust to the high standards that you're setting for them, or they're going to ship out, ship themselves out. They're going to go to a place where people accept nonsense, where people, people that are of lower quality, they go and meet their type, not you. That is how it works. So you set the standards for both of you. You set them high so that you're having a high experience, a high standard experience for both of you. And the best of this is that you are also giving them good quality. So they're happy. So they're not in a, ha in a hurry to leave you. They don't want to leave you. But they come to understand that they cannot have you if they can't behave themselves. So it's up to 
them now to decide whether they want something of good quality so that's why i always insist you have to be brushing yourself up you have to make sure that you, you yourself are of high standard of high quality and that is why i insist that and if you like you can google it you will find out that when you are of low value yourself when you're of low quality yourself you find yourself in a low quality relationship this is because you are operating from a place of low quality so therefore you're not we're not worthy of something higher than this we always get the relationship that we we don't get a relationship we don't get a relationship that is better than us we don't get a relationship that is above our level i understand that you may have improved now from the time that you chose your current bad relationship yes and that is why now that is not satisfactory to you so understand that every time that we find ourselves there it is us who choose the same way that it is them who choose they will look at you and feel like you are too high of a standard for them and so they need to go and look for someone of lower standards so you see we're always going to be operating at the level where we ourselves are and who doesn't want what is good that's why you see many times you see a well-educated good-looking even very financially comfortable person being mistreated why because they do not reflect the true value that they have so i tell you again that perception is not necessarily reality it's not necessarily very obvious perception is what your true value is perception is not the value that we think it is what is your true value it is something that you demonstrate by who you are so of what quality are you or what value are you or what standards are you so you should treat everyone with dignity and respect so that when you're giving it to them you are expecting it back and they cannot even fault fault you because they're getting the same thing back from you and that is one of the magic keys that people overlook because you're thinking oh i don't want to offend this person but you see what it does is that it only ends up changing the energy in your dynamics and in your relationship you end up creating a shift in energies that you don't even realize is working against you your very visions and you will not have what you want because you have messed it up by yourself this is one of the things that i explain in our leadership relationship academy it's not those things that people teach where they say where they teach manipulation tactics where you know where all those things where they say treat them this way and treat them that way and they will respect you no we're not here to disrespect anybody at all to kick anybody's integrity no we are here to maintain standards i tell you again and again that life happens in ironies see people like you more when you people like you more when you stand up for yourself they do you know what because it gives them a feeling of trust they know that they have confidence in you because they know that they can rely on you to point out something and that you're telling them the truth they are not going to shy away from speaking the truth so that they know that they're safe with you in seeking your own safety you're also providing them safety that's how it works because they know that you're going to be checking them so that when they misstep they're not doing something that is negative any responsible person likes that and that's why you see people saying that they don't understand why this person is always behaving this way and is always being tough and difficult and yet the one that is always so nice and is, is angelic is so great is being mistreated but look this is what it is is that people aren't interpreting what is happening here is the thing it's not that people don't like people who are nice and angelic we all love that who doesn't want that the problem is that if it's not genuine like if bad things are happening and because you, you you want to be nice you want to be quiet you don't want to rock the boat it doesn't inspire confidence and they are going to know so they don't feel sure of you they never show sure where you're at because they know that you're sidestepping things even if you don't feel strong enough remember you always have this to rely on this is your rock where you lean ask yourself again is this what you think in your heart about yourself because remember again as a man thinketh in his heart so is he so is your accepting this going to align with what you think of yourself in your heart this is a reminder for you for all the times that you've done the wrong thing and taken the wrong decision when you knew you weren't being yourself and aligned with the purpose of god for your life 
So the type of people, there are some type of people that will work well with someone who isn't going to be speaking the truth all the time. There's some, there are people who are going to work well with someone who doesn't speak up, who doesn't call them out on the wrong things that they do. And these people will be the type of people who are lacking confidence. They don't like accountability. They will prefer that someone just keeps quiet because they don't want to deal with what they need to deal with. People who don't like to face the truth will be happy to go along with someone who doesn't speak up. Let me lay it out for you. These things are not that simple. There's a deep psychological reason why a person would prefer not to deal with things that are cropping up in life. And this will be a habit that they've learned as a coping mechanism over the years for a long time. And so these things do not just go away. They lead to more negativity and you can't gloss over these things. Don't do that. This is escapism. And it doesn't bode well because in the end, you're still going to have to deal with problems. And the way that these people will deal with problems will be either to continue to bear them silently and to sweep them under the rug and to be looking for happiness and fulfillment outside of that relationship because it's never going to be a good one. I'll tell you something. Someone said to me that what they, what they want is to find a group of people who are unhappy in their relationships so that they can have relationships with each other and that will just solve everything for everyone. But how do you do that? Because it means that you're going to have to be doing something clandestine. You're going to be stuck. All this, these people, a group of people who are unhappy in their relationships. There are only two things to do here. What is it that is making you unhappy in your relationship? You need to deal with it. And if it's something that you both cannot deal with and come to compromise, then you need to end the relationship. And they know that these are the two options that they have. But instead of choosing those two things because they find them too hard, they want to choose to create another problem. What happens if you're married and you are found by your partner to be doing this? What is your partner going to do? What if somebody gets pregnant? Okay, we'll say that we were going to prevent pregnancy. What if you get a disease and then you bring it home to your partner? And how do you split your time from your partner and share it with someone else or with other people? It, 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 this, you cannot want to solve a problem by bringing yet another problem. But for someone to think this shows you how unwilling people are to deal with your problems. This is a real conversation that I had. I'm not making it up. And because I'm good with tech, this person was hoping that I could find a way to do it. And because of what I do, and because I deal with things, with I deal with technology and I deal with people, this person was hoping that I could find a way to make this happen. And these things are happening. I know these things are already happening. But they're hoping that because that they know me, that I will be able to be the one to contact them or to put them together with other people. You, we cannot solve problems by running away from the problems that we have. This is a refusal to grow up, a refusal to be a, a proper adult, a refusal to deal with things. So I want you to know that you can never completely run away from your problems if you keep running. If you keep running, you keep running, you keep running. You will never have satisfaction. Solve the problem. Let us figure out exactly what the problem is and deal with it. The truth is, from everything that I've told you, you see that we create, we actually create and nurture relationships that shouldn't even exist in the first place. So you need to deal with that and then take your time to create something that makes sense so that you can enjoy it, so that both of you, because now what it means is that you're not going to be giving yourself completely to this relationship because your, your mind is on finding something else elsewhere. It just does not, it doesn't, it, it, it's, it's, it's a hopeless way of dealing with things. It's a hopeless way of dealing with things. Wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and face real life. Real life is not escapism, even though you would like to make it. It's not escapism. So if you do this, you're just going to end up eventually 
being found out or even by yourself decide that you cannot cope with the facade anymore you can't keep up with the facade anymore so the earlier you deal with things the better because you leave a wound and you don't treat it, it it just festers it becomes worse and it becomes infested there is no escape so that's to show you that not necessarily that this person is bad but don't be with a person that is wrong for you that is part of being unequally yoked that is the meaning of being unequally yoked there are people who stand on the truth openness conversations accountability so if you want accountability and and these are foundations for integrity and dignity and uh, respect in the way that we relate with one another so if you have a sibling or parent or friend or romantic partner who does not like open conversations and standing on the truth then you are not going to work well with them and that is a relationship that will be fraught with disrespect gaslighting a blackmailing and all those types of things negative things negative behaviors so if you're not a frank person, if you're not standing on the truth, they themselves will know that you are not a frank person. They cannot have confidence in you. And they, they won't see, at least they won't see you as a frank person. So you're going to be creating doubt in their mind. And people like this themselves, because they know themselves that they're not frank themselves, they themselves are even doubtful of themselves. And they think that you're doubting them because they know that nothing is real here. That's why those relationships are fraught with problems. So the, more, the longer you stay in something unhealthy like this, your brain begins to bend and begins to think that this is how life is. And you begin to see other relationships as that because, because you, you, you lack the ability to be, to be, to, you lack the ability to be open and to be genuine. You find it hard now to believe that other people can be open and genuine so that even when people are being open and genuine with you, you have difficulties having relationships because you just will not connect openly and genuinely with them and after a while they get tired of you and they, they will give up and move away from you and then you keep going from one relationship to another from one relationship to another and you don't find a resting place this is something that you're doing when you refuse to deal with life as listen I've told you before previously that no one has the power to send you to hell or to heaven so you should have no fear in being open and truthful and stating your mind don't fear people who cannot do to you things that are eternal don't fear people who cannot take control of your life that person isn't paying your rent people are not are not giving you they're not the ones providing food for you so there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to speak your mind as long as as i say don't be confrontational so that you can get to the bottom of the solutions that you need you see, people who like to fight and argue are either deflecting, deflecting, or in fact, they're just deflecting. Because anybody who reasonably really wants to solve something doesn't try to bring in fighting and destroy an opportunity for a conversation. So all this is just psychology. When you're not being truthful and frank, you don't inspire confidence and assurance. And in fact, this is another reason why people will eventually decide that they cannot be with even you. This is just psychology. We are here to have good quality. See, even when I'm dealing with my relatives, when I'm dealing with even my siblings, my cousins, there is nothing that I allow to escape if I don't like it. I will call it out and we'll have a conversation about it. I'm not going to pretend that I don't know or that I didn't see it. If I feel that it is negative one way or the other we are going to have that conversation about it and because people are stubborn i am going to give you another scenario that i just dealt with people who stay with people who have shown that they just cannot treat them right sometimes people do this because they actually cannot stand you not necessarily because you're doing anything wrong but they just cannot stand you because their brains cannot understand the way that you do things or the way that you process things and that is also why sometimes they insist on the way that they're doing things so what happens is if you decide to stay back and to just allow this behavior to continue or if you're hoping that it's going to stop it isn't going to stop people actually do this sometimes because they also want you to get the hint and leave them the hell alone get lost 
sometimes they just believe that it's their way is the right way or and it's their way or the highway and this sometimes is another reason why it doesn't end once you accept it it's going to continue that way that's the way that it's going to be going forward make things make sense all right anybody who actually wants things to work out between you will be ready and willing to work towards it and if they don't see your point when you're pointing out something that is wrong then that is your cue and i'm going to ask you one more time remember to ask yourself if what is going on is that in accordance with what you think of yourself in your heart are you loyal to what you think of yourself in your heart or are you going to abandon it now for another human being and accept what they think in their heart for you or about you and also does this align with the will and purpose of god for you or are you going to abandon that to accept another human being's plans for your destiny if you stay as always i tell you it is your choice to choose this it's your choice it's always in our power so this choosing this is your choice if you want good quality you will be of good quality yourself and so you are not going to be mistreating people and tossing them around so don't listen to those toxic people who are teaching toxicity and teaching people to mistreat people if you want good quality all you have to do is be of good quality yourself and so we're not going to be mistreating people and tossing them around because you're trying to get respect from them you don't get it that way I'll tell you how that actually works against you later. Everything is psychology. And if you don't take your time to think through, through what you're doing and you just take random advice from crazy people online, you're going to get crazy results. You know, you do stupid shit, you get stupid results. All those people that say ignore them and act like you don't care. All those, those are evil tactics, manipulation. So with time, I will be putting information in the description boxes. And in fact, in our community tabs, be looking out there so that you can start getting information that you can just look through and begin to put two and two together to make sense of things. And let me end this here. So if this sounds like something that you're finding helpful, why haven't you subscribed to the channel if you haven't? And like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. And remember to share this information to other people. Share this video to other people for our collective conscious empowerment. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.